Hey everybody, it's Gypsy. Um, today I had my physical therapy and my occupational therapy. I was doing really good with just taking Tylenol this morning until I did those two and then they had to go back to adding in a little, uh, just a little bit of oxycodone. Um, then I saw the surgeon this evening. He did my surgery yesterday. Today is Thursday, February 2nd, 2023. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and he showed me the x-rays of my knee, my knee with the plate in it. He had to extend it longer because the fracture was longer than it appeared on the original x-rays. He said when my uh, joint, my joints smacked together, a long shard of bone got caught down in between, you know, the bones of my lower leg, I guess. So we had to fish that out. He had to use some kind of like bone glue and stuff. I, I, he told me that yesterday, so I'm not really clear on that one. Um, so they are hoping tomorrow to transfer me over to a um, rehab facility uh, tomorrow. Hopefully that goes through because I wanna Get, I want to get my life back as soon as possible. He said, while I'm there, because I have this big-ass brace on my entire leg. He has it locked at zero so that I cannot move my knee. I can't bend my knee at all. And I can put absolutely no weight on my leg as of right now. He said, while I'm in physical therapy, they're going to start gradually... Not well, I, th I think he said at the rehab center. Because I do rehab center first. Then when I'm released from there, I will have physical therapy while at home. But at the rehab center, they're going to start very slowly loosening my brace and working on me bending my knee and very gradually start putting weight on it. Um, yeah, right now, my, my left from the minute I fell, my left leg was totally useless. But... He said, in two weeks, my sutures come out. I have one hell of a very long scar down the side of my leg. So my sutures come out then. He said, as soon as I'm off all the narcotics and I can bend my knee enough to fit my brace in my truck, I could start driving again. So that'll be good. Um, yeah, the brace I'll be wearing for six to eight weeks. Total recovery from yesterday's surgery on is six months. My physical therapist told me, and I'm very upset about this one, I will not be planting a garden this summer. She says, you're not going to be able to get down and you're not going to be able to kneel. She says, this will be through about a July. So she says, your fall garden you can do. She goes, I don't see you having a spring and summer garden. So things have changed greatly. For my little homestead, I am going to be way behind schedule. So uh, that's disappointing. But the good, good news is I'll be back to driving soon. And um, just trying very hard to get my life back walking. I, I need to start walking again. Um, for quite some time, I will be using a walker. They think with me living, you know, they were saying it's either going to have to be a wheelchair or a walker at first, uh, possibly um, crutches later. But now they're just talking about the walker because I lit my, my trailer is so tiny. And they also think it would be the best thing for me to get in and out of the trailer. So um, that's where I am now. Um, it's very tired all the time from the medication and I'm embarrassed to tell you this guys but I graduated today because since I fell I have not been able to use a proper bathroom so my physical therapist uh, brought a portable commode over near my bed 
and she taught me how, now I cannot do this without supervision, so I have to call the nurse, but she taught me how to use my walker and kind of uh, scooch myself over to the commode. So I have graduated up to using a commode. Yay, hey, gypsy. Give myself a pat on the back. <laughs> Anyways, um, I'll let you guys know how physical therapy is, the, or not physical, the rehab center. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting, I'm just going to keep up with my mother. So maybe we can have wheelchair races. She's been in physical therapy a few times because, well, she broke her hip two years ago. So, you know, mom and I are just moving right along together. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to leave you guys with that. Bless the beat and make it a joyful one.